too shabby for Serena, especially in Mortal Kombat Mythology Sub-Zero. There's not a lot of good songs there, but this one's not too bad. Welcome back to another chapter of Mortal Kombat The Return of the Dragon King. Last time, we just experienced Dark Raiden as he was reformed in Earthrealm after the actual Raiden made a sacrificial blow to Onaga and knew that his death was imminent since he was powerless and Onaga was too powerful for him and Fusion, he decided to sacrifice himself will also give up like 75% of his vitality. And as a result, it actually reformed as his corrupt side. Because he was filled with a lot of hatred, he had enough patience of Earthrealm being invaded, and he knew the risks. He knew that Shinnok can do it, you know, as a fallen elder god and Quan Chi with the amulet. But Fujin didn't want to take that chance. He knew it was too risky. But Raiden did just that so he wouldn't actually die. But as a result, his dark self was invading near the Temple of Light with Zombie Liu Kang as his enforcer. And so Kenshi, Fujin, and Kung Lao were able to stop the Zombie Liu Kang but were... They were incapacitated by Raiden's darker self until Nightwolf actually made an EMP, an electromagnetic pulse, to disable him temporarily, stun him, and there was this massive rainstorm which gave Raiden the chance to absorb his darker self. And as a result, he got his vitality back, and so he is his full self again. Much to the relief of Aiko, Kenshi, Ermac, and the monks that were in danger in the Dragon Grotto. So, with that out of the way, I'm just gonna take a little tangent detour and focus on another optional storyline, Noob Saibot. As Lao was with Hanzo, Liu Kang, and Ermac heading straight for the Nexus, he made a solemn promise to reunite with Aiko again despite her anxieties, although his Shaolin brother was more confident that they'll succeed. Ermac came across the same immense dark aura. He hesitated. The group looked back, and the soul kinetic pointed out the pile of steep rubble. We just passed the Hoenn Temple that Raiden mentioned. Guys, look! Hanzo pointed to a recognizable body, sithered and steaming with his head missing. Lao muttered, Shinko, Raiden did slay him as his corrupt self. <sighs> God damn it, it's all up to us now. Hansa then coaxed Lao. Do you remember wanting to take the Earthrealm Kamidogu? Now's the time to perform that foolish stunt. This may distract and lure the Dragon King onto us, and as long as we find havoc... I believe the champion of Outworld is still Goro. Let's do this! He then followed the remainder of the champions to the Nexus Gateway. Somewhere in Arctica, and I spelled it wrong again, at the Linkway Temple, one of the ninjas alerted the Grandmaster, Kwai Liang, of a girl seeking asylum. Have her enter! Moments later, she had, as she was being escorted by a few of the guardsmen, he wasn't sure if she'd actually withstand the below-zero air, let alone if it was a human. To his surprise, she wasn't faced by the uninhabitable, frigid climate at all, because the dragon medallion. She was a slim woman with half of her head consisting black locks of thick hair with white and black. And basically, it's Serena, actually. But Kwai Liang doesn't know her yet. Sub-Zero was just as flabbergasted as his own colleagues, even Smoke and Frost. Still, she walked straight toward the throne without any distress from the sheer cold. She made a curtsy as she greeted, as she greeted Sub-Zero, I presume? Yes. And you? I see you have a different, thinner tone, even a lighter complexion. I recognized you from several years ago. May I ask who you are? Certainly. My name is Serena. 
I'm detecting fr- defecting from the nether realm. I am here to alert you on the predicament of your brother, Bihan. Everyone was flabbergasted. What? He eventually retained his composure. What do you know of my brother, stranger? I found him amongst the Brotherhood of Shadow as a wraith, encased in complete darkness. I knew of him several years back, before the first Mortal Kombat tournament. He spared my life, and I guided him through the evil deaths until I assisted him on fighting Quan Chi. We bested him in combat, and I allowed Sub-Zero to escape before I was shot by Shinnok and banned to the fifth plane for betraying them. Then, I recently felt his icy aura, though he never looked nor acted like himself. I have heard that he went by the name of Noob Saibot amongst the fanatics. After a few minutes, he was being tended by Smoke and Frost. He regained his stamina. Where is he? I escaped from the nether realm as I observed Quan Chi once he activated a portal to Outworld. I kept away from that Oni and was retreating from behind too. I have an ally named Ashra. Alas, she cannot leave the nether realm unless she were to slay a demon of immense power and evil. I believe that Wraith to be her salvation. So, you believe he's still in hell? Either there or in Outworld, but I'd also heard of a dragon roaming around. <gasps> that must be Onaga! We lost an associate of ours recently. I bet the beast has been resurrected there. The Deadly Alliance must have been successful after their defeat. I'm surprised I never heard anything from Kenshi or Master Raiden yet. He doesn't know Hanzo is alive, though. Then, we must head there at once. My brother. Yes, Serena, you can remember the portal's location? It was near some sacred runes. They mentioned of the dragon's revival. Let's hope we can stay low, avoid Onaga's and his army's watchful eyes. He turned to his disciples. Frost! Smoke! Are you willing to assist me and take that risk? They hesitated and they accepted. The Lin Kuei witched the, quarter, the quartet luck before they set a foot into enemy territory. With the help of Serena, she was able to conjure a portal leading to the location of the last rip. They emerged at Serena's discretion as they noticed the exotic markings on the stone walls. This is the place where I saw Quan Chi escape to and followed him out. I was relieved he didn't notice me. And these symbols here tell of Onaga and his dominance by his zombie army. They required many souls to do this. Indeed. Kung Lao, Liu Kang, and Nightwolf put a stop to them. However, the Soul Nato was activated. And we lost Hanzo and the Champion, too. Frost and Smoke sulked. Muay Pinel? I doubt that Frost and I can handle the tepid environment of the Nether Realm. But we may be of some assistance to the forces of Adenia. Wait, why can't I come along? I'm sorry, but Smoke is right. You two must stay in Outworld if the worst should happen to me. If you see a threat of either Onaga, his army, or even Bihan, don't hesitate to fire. As I have the Dragon Medallion, I could withstand the intense heat. Besides... I believe my brother might spring a trap on you since the Lin Kuei are technical. I had seen machinery there, so it's likely. Smoke is a cyborg, Serena. The Lin Kuei had the cyber initiative till Onira was slain, and the cyber protocols fell out of favor. Now Smoke can utilize both ways. He can be a vital part to the Udinian resistance. You are mortal so you can't lose your powers. And with that kind of adaptation, you might be stronger than Bihan. Don't I have to be tainted to enter the Nether Realm? Yes, but you have a demon. I can help you access it. Good, let's go. Stay safe, and may the Elder Gods protect you. They nodded, 
They went into hell after Serena conjured the portal. The pair just stood all struck, but very much alert. Smoke scanned and deciphered the ancient runes. How can we trust her? How do we know she won't be leading Kwai into a trap? Oh. How can we trust her? How do we know she won't be leading Kwai into a trap? I can trust her, Frost. She had helped Bihan, which was during his journey to attain Shinnok's amulet, and the best sorcerers. After all, she never shown herself to be a demon. They heard a shuffle of feet. Seconds later, they heard the same scuffle. They braced for the worst. They took aim. It's only me! Hold your fire! Nightwolf? What is he doing here? Ah, uh, I saw a bright gleam from here, thinking it was Onaga or his followers. I was about to prepare myself for the Sin Eater ritual. With a growing army, I should gather enough souls to make me tainted, so I can enter the Nether Realm and bind Onaga once he's weak enough. <clears throat> Kwai went to the underworld with Serena in search of his brother, Bihan. I shall wish him luck. Onaga and his followers should be here any minute. We should stand by and protect him, Frost. If Mui Pinyel should, shall make a safe journey back and restore his elder brother. His anxieties were beginning to cloud his mind with doubt. Ugh, don't I feel the same. I've been there. Intense heat wasn't a problem for the two, with the Dragon Medallion, Serena is more adaptable, more resistant. Followed her to the gears, his mind acted up with Kenshi not around. He needed all the help he could get, especially dealing with his corrupt brother, whom he presumed would be as wrath, wraith, yeah, wrathful as Scorpion. This must be the fifth plane of the Nether Realm, where your brother was resurrected. He is an evil incarnate, and while he serves under the sorcerers, he seems to be only full of himself. I sympathize, Kwai Liang, but you must discard your light-heartedness towards him. No honor shall befall from him either. So he wasn't possessed by one of the Elder Gods, he recalled his pep talk with the Shaolin monks, which is a tie-in to that. No, it was Quan Chi. Most unclean, so Noob could, would be just as vicious. I'm afraid that there may not be a way to save him, as he's bound here for so long. But if I can find Ashra... Look out! Ugh. There was a large icicle made of sharp ice particles, dark energy struck out, and dissipated into dust afterwards. The rice beheld a shadowy mass figure, blight... Bright blue irises piercing. They were the new victims. Hello, brother! Kwai stood as is frozen by the dragon medallion as if losing control over it. B brother! Oh, I see sweet Serena has returned. Where have you been deserting yourself from our cult? I've had enough of your twisted occult, especially with you and Quan Chi. You should perish for your treachery. After all, I and Sub Zero had done. After all, I and Sub Zero had done for you. Ah, uh, continue there. What you two had done was meaningless, Serena. Ever since Scorpion murdered me, I was reborn here with a higher purpose. The corrupt Lin Kuei and the damnation warped your mind. Once I'm done with you, I'll ascend to Earthrealm and assassinate Scorpion myself. Then, the Brotherhood of Shadow shall conquer both realms. I haven't forgotten of Shinnok's imprisonment. Thank you for leaving him vulnerable, brother. <clears throat> and you will return to our ranks very soon, my dear. You were part of the Brotherhood? Quan Chi enslaved me as one of his assassins. If if it weren't for Ashra... She was suddenly caught in a blinding blizzard by Noob and remained stiff. Silence, you traitor! I will finish you! And if you won't show on my side, you'll wind up with the same fate as the Shirai Ryu. Brother, 
What has become of you? You have no right! Fight! It seemed to be a mirror match, although Noob had more strength than his benevolent brother, Zeiss Blasts. They were empowered by the Umbra Kinesis, and he had more muscle. He was able to put up a fight, but not against his endurance and brute. Instead, most re re <clears throat> relied enhanced cramancy from the powerful artifact. Noom's necromantic persona was too much. Alas, Quai's strength didn't hold up for long. Kept receiving blow after blow, and was severe. Quai hunched over. <sighs> I will take your medallion and your soul. Farewell, dear brother. His body was engulfed in what looked like to be bright sunny rays. The golden streaks began to irritate Noob. He shielded his eyes as he backed away. The same beam retracted from one of the distant piers, the distant gears. It followed Noob to stun him again, but it moved and shone through Kwai and Serena's tomb. With a gentle aura, it dissolved the omnipotence almost instantly. The warmth also encased Kwai and restored some of his strength, even Serena's. Let him be, noob Cybot. Kwai! Serena! Run! She leapt down with her nature's torpedo, squarely hitting the wraith with her spin and rapidly kicking legs which launched him into the air. She then cast her heavenly light, which made his descent hard. She fired a lightning blast, which connected Noob. With her holy might, she was able to resist both Noob's umbra and cryokinesis. She knew it won't be easy to lunge in for Chris Blade. She knew all too well that the Wraith may be wounded, but still dangerous and reckless than ever. She wasn't about to lose her prey this time. I have been looking for you for Eon, Cybot! So have I! They each fired their elemental volleys, forcing to cancel each other out. It was a blinding battle of stamina, as well as the neon blue and black streaks clashed against the sun rays. Noob's body jolted forward, and the incinerating energy seeping into his opaque stature. Little T knew a nearby participant was still strong enough to force him forward and lower his guard. What have you done? I will always come back to haunt all of you! Ashra threw the heavenly dagger and it impaled into the demon's chest. He wailed like a banshee, and the aura began to seep into his evil soul. Black streaks rose from his paralyzed body before it started to lighten and soon dissipate. The crisp still remained, with its tip in the burnt dirt. Asher retrieved it as Klein Serena recovered. What did you do? A hole made of light just descended and laid over Ashra, who could have sworn she was taken off her feet. Sure enough, she was ascending, even though the sky was hardly noticeable. Seeing this, Kwai and Serena actually ran and grabbed her by the feet, and they seemed to be carried up as well. Ha! <laughs> Ashra has actually got emancipated from the Nether Realm, finally! Moments later, it took Kwai a while to notice they were laying in a grassy field in Earth Realm. The blue, patchy sky and the cool wind was so welcoming for all of them. They had to stretch their weary muscles, maybe lay roll around in the fresh grass. Even Kwai was honestly missed the feet, the feel of nature. A rumble of thunder was heard in the distance. Without seeing a thundercloud, he had a hunch it was... The flashing emerged the thunder god himself. Sub-Zero! Lord Raiden! Arise now. Who is this demon? Her name is Serena. She was just defecting from the Nether Realm. Is that Ashra who stands before me? She was awestruck. Raiden! At last we meet! My faith has kept me hopeful, ascending from the Nether Realm. It's about time. However, I won't welcome a demon. Uh, Serena can help defend Smoke and Frost in Outworld. They await my return. 
then you two shall help us fight Onaga and his undead and loyal followers. I'd already sent Nightwolf there in preparation of the Sin Eater ritual. I'll still need Ashra's assistance on vanquishing the evil from Sonya, Jax, and Johnny. Those three are contaminated? By Onaga, yes. Good, I'm almost done. He then remembered the successful endeavor by the Deadly Alliance when Serena explained it all. Ashra took out and looked down at her sword. With Chris, I might be able to imbue them. It'll be easier if the ancient cryomancers can pitch in. Yes, I know of your history, Sub-Zero. I certainly don't want you to wind up tainted like your brother. Then it's settled. Kwai and Serena shall rendezvous with R Frost and Thomas in Outworld, and fend off Onaga and his warriors. Ashra, before you go, there is still one Revenant John. There is still one. Revenant Johnny is imprisoned at the Temple of Elements, and would possess the last Kami Dogu if he's not stopped. I will lead you there. Go now, to Outworld! Rin opened a portal. Quite then, then Serena leapt into the passage to the foreboding frontier. Moments later, the Protector of Earth conjured a different rip, leading to the temple. Sensing there was still immense evil, she headed straight to it. Good luck, guys. Just like in my last epic, I did not want to go with the lore given about Smoke. He was left in prison in Outworld years after Khan was exterminated. Then he was found by Noob Saiba, and being he and the Lin Kuei had impressive technological knowledge, he'd hack and brainwash Smoke like the former Grandmaster did. I'm just so pissed off that nearly every villain had retained their evil ways without any legit reason. Same deal with Goro. Much like the Shokan, I didn't make it happen. And it shouldn't. It always pisses me off. Always. He and Frost shall be involved with Nightwolf in Outworld and prepare for Onaga and his hard followers. With Quine Serena pitching in. Ashra and Serena had their chance to shine much like Noob, although I wasn't into them much. Not a huge fan of these guys, but good to lend them a free pass. And there are the songs for that. <clears throat> Damn you, Squeenix. I can't find a certain song, like with, uh... When the Warriors fell to the mannequins in Dissidia Duodecum, and they arose from Dissidia, even Lightning... I couldn't find that song. Damn it! Not even in the soundtrack. It should be. I seem to have killed a few birds with one stone, whether it be about Ashra ascending after she killed Noob Saibot, Serena allying with the Lin Kuei and redeeming herself from Quan Chi, and just getting rid of more trouble without harming those such as Kwai, Smoke, and Frost. I might cover the Chris and its true effects some other time, Maybe if I should write Armageddon, but I still have Onaga and his undead and loyal warriors to deal with. See you then. Until then, this is the Ekron Writer signing out, and I'll see you guys later.